In this movie, we're going to take a closer look at how to preview animations. It seems like a simple enough topic, but this is what you spend so much of your time doing in After Effects, previewing animations. So it really pays to know how to do this well, or at least to know how to do it the way you want it to be done. To do this, I'm going to be using the animating position project we looked at in the last movie. We'll also be sticking to the wizard finish project here. Now, we talked before about how you hit the space bar and that previews the animation. And that does work. But there's actually another way to do this. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to drag my current time indicator back to the home frame, the first frame. And what I'm going to do is do something called a RAM preview. A RAM preview is made by hitting zero on the numeric keypad. Now, if you don't have a numeric keypad, maybe you're on a laptop, for example, there should be a function button that will allow you to do this. On my MacBook Pro, for example, function M is the way to do this. Hit zero on the numeric keypad. It does a RAM preview, basically loads all those frames into RAM. And basically that's what this little green bar is over animations. It indicates that these frames have been cached. That way After Effects can play these back in real time. Now here's the difference between the space bar preview and a RAM preview. A space bar preview attempts to play as much of your composition as it can. And so when doing a spacebar preview, there isn't a lot of importance placed on how it looks in real time. So if you want to get a really accurate view of your animation, the speed of the animation, then you'll want to do a RAM preview. If the RAM preview could only cache 10 frames and play back 10 frames in real time, then that's all it will do. So the RAM preview is much more accurate. Another thing that the RAM preview does that the spacebar preview doesn't is that it plays back audio as well. So I almost always use RAM previewing. If you're more of a panel person, or if you like to click buttons more than use keyboard shortcuts, you can come over here to the preview panel, usually docked on the right-hand side. And again, if you're not seeing that, you can go to the window menu at the top and select it from here, preview. And basically, this play button here is the same thing as hitting the spacebar key. This button over here on the far right is the RAM preview button. Now, one other really important preview tip, and that is this little bar right here. You might be saying, what bar? Because it kind of looks like it's part of the interface, but it's not. This little gray bar here with the yellow ends is called the work area bar. Let's say, for example, we're looking at this composition. It's five seconds long, which doesn't seem that much, but the animation actually doesn't go on for that long. So if we go back to the first frame, hit the space bar, yeah, he does his thing, shoots some lightning bolts, and then we wait around for a seeming eternity for it to start over again. Now, we only have animation going on in the first couple seconds, and so that's obviously the part that we want to focus on. So what we can do is change the work area. So I'm going to grab the end of the work area and drag it. Actually, let's scroll down and see where our lightning bolts. Let's drag the end of the work area bar past the last lightning bolt keyframe. Then let's hit zero on the numeric keypad to do a RAM preview. And then once it's done previewing, it goes back to the beginning of the animation. It doesn't play the entire composition. So in this way, you can focus on one little area of your composition to preview over and over again. We could also drag the beginning of the work area to change that, or click on the inside to move the entire work area. To reset the work area, just double click on it. Alternatively, you could also use the keyboard shortcut B as a beginning of the work area to set the beginning of the work area, or the letter N for end to set the end of the work area. Next, we're gonna temporarily say goodbye to the wizard as we look at the night and talk about anchor points.